DirectFix.com presents the iPhone 4 screen installation and reassembly. Please be sure to check us out on the web at DirectFix.com. At checkout, use coupon code YouTube7 for 7% off your first order. Warning, this content is intended to be used for informational and entertainment purposes only. You are using this video directions and its content at your own risk. X Micro Solution Inc. makes no representation, warranties, or conditions of any kind expressed or implied. Following these directions on the video will void your warranty you are performing this repair at your own risk. This video is going to go over the installation and reassembly of a screen in an iPhone 4. For instructions on how to disassemble your iPhone 4, please refer to our iPhone 4 teardown video. Begin by holding your new iPhone 4 screen up to the metal frame of your phone. The screen comes with two ribbons, one for the LED and the other for the touch panel. Make sure you slide these ribbons all the way through the hole in the frame. If you do not, the ribbons will get caught between the frame and the screen and you will most likely rip or tear them later in the reassembly process. Now you can set about placing the screws in the frame which hold the screen. There are a total of 10 screws that hold the screen into the frame. Four smaller screws are used in the corners, and six larger screws with washers are used along the sides, three on each side. Now with the screen screwed into place, you can begin to install the other components, starting with the speaker and mic module. The module is placed on the bottom of the frame, with the small black ribbon to the top. Now goes in the motherboard. Carefully slide the top of the board into place first. The bottom of the board sits on top of the corner of the speaker module. You can now also connect the small black ribbon on top of the speaker module to the motherboard. This screw goes through both the motherboard and the speaker module. Another goes through the speaker module on the other side. The screw goes into the motherboard about midway up. You can now place the ribbon connector for the button pad onto the motherboard. A small shield protects that connector with two screws. Now we can install the vibrator motor. This is placed in the top right corner of the phone and is secured with two screws. Now goes in the camera. It's placed in the top left corner and is secured with a connector. A special screw is placed at the top of the motherboard. It is threaded on both the inside and out. Another screw will screw into it. Now it goes in the battery.
A small shield is placed over the battery connector and is secured with a screw. You can now secure the five ribbon cables that are at the top of the motherboard. Two of them are from the screen. If you had pulled the ribbons all the way through the frame, the cable should be long enough to connect to the motherboard. Now place a shield over those ribbons. The shield is secured with five total screws. You can now replace the back cover of the phone. After replacing the two bottom screws at the bottom of your phone, you are done. Please be sure to check our website, directfix.com. Just click the link below for all your parts and accessory needs.